locomotives actually to run more gently and easily, but yeah. Uh huh. There's a plastic shell. Brilliant. Found it. Did take a while time, but I found it. I do have spare body shells for the size 6, so it's always good. Oops. Stuff in the plastic outer casing. So I like to keep my locos um, running, uh, keeping my locos for a long, long time, and then I'll just go second-hand ones as the price has got off too much for the big uh, new ones, like the Hornby one. So yeah, there's a lot of. That is 25 years on its way, very, very slowly. You basically can get someone crossing the road in that space of time. So, once you're coming along, I'm just going to take some rails out of the uh, British Rail Blue Intercity Coach. So, it needs rails cleaned and delivery application on this particular train, which I did some experiments on, see if we can get it more accurate but apparently it's not quite as easy as some have seen but yes it is it is um doing stuff which is good but yeah she she needs a bit of a clean over So we're only going to show two laps for each loco okay for most of the time. So we've got one more lap to do with 25 now, which will be when we go around the camera. She should be on her last lap. Well, she's on her last lap now, but basically when she comes around to me again, we'll swap it to a different locomotive. So all those speed performance today, we're just testing how slow they can go. We're up on the low, it's just basically first week. We do slow boot performance with a load next week. I'm not sure. Tuesday will be different again next week. So Monday might be a running session day as normal um, next week. And then we'll do a strength test. High speed test will be done tomorrow. Obviously it will have to be too fast because we don't want to go flying off track. But yeah. I have got a little headache. That's the sight in my I've got a little headache. The nose and slowly. Also guys you can honestly you can you can um, send me messages on my YouTube channel and send me a question or comment or something and you know, me and my mum me obviously as the YouTuber I make content for you for free. Um you can watch it for free, you can subscribe to it for free, you can just like anything you actually like particular videos. Some of you are waiting to see some more gaming content from me. Well, I will be doing some game content for you. Uh, it's just not yet. I'm going to be doing it towards the middle of summer, I think. Um, which will be probably... Well, I'm going to do some probably in March. Which won't be until next month, but... Uh, the uh, 
which is nice. So we will get another game in video video game phase for you in March. And then yeah, next lot after that will be in some point between uh, July or August after that one. So it'll be just a little bit soon trained. But obviously the, the train channel is the big one we Just regularly posting content. Right, so 25 is done. Then have a couple of laps of slow speed performance. Let's get the housing for free on. Will she go rather fast? But with her Haldi motor, I think she'll go a little bit faster than normal, but... Not that that fast though. I think she's running a bit more, more easy and smoother as um, some of the others. I will adjust the cameras around as well, because I haven't done that particularly well with the camera tonight. I am feeling a little bit light headed today. So too much sleep or too much carbohydrate I had. It's one of the two. Right. So we do a couple of angles this way and then we do a couple of angles the uh, other way. Here comes the Houghton 33 again. She's pretty much done the whole complete lap already, already doing one, already done the complete one lap. I go and wearing glasses all the time because uh, my eyes have been playing up a lot recently, I don't know why, but they have been. Right, hydrogen 33 is done, her test, which is good. So that those speed performance from the hydrogen 33 and we've done 25. we also done the 06, which did struggle a few times, as you'll probably see. And it's high speed performance tomorrow, so that'd be fun. Well, obviously, as I said, I'm not going to go be um, overwhelming the speed on that thing or on any of the trains tomorrow. It will be a low speed performance. Now this locomotive does need to go to the controller a little bit higher than this particular train because she does have a habit of not running properly without having a bit more power to her. She's probably with a trying point of lima maximism. So let's just give her a little bit more power. So we've got the uh, Dash 8 running around, 
The ones that are more difficult to disconnect from the calibers, I'm not going to do that. Um, the HST, I'm going to keep those years, same with the 350. The pin vein I'll disconnect because that's fairly easy to, to do. But obviously we're going to do those last if we can. And if we don't have time today to finish them off, but we'll do it properly another week. So it's not a big deal if we can't get the timing tonight. Here she comes. We'll do one lap for this one because it will take a while otherwise. Uh, we can go straight on to the Triumph 81. If she can't do a lap at all, the Triumph 81 will have to squalify her and save her for the high speed test and see how fast she can move. Should be cool. Okay, she's done one. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm quite impressed so far. Only a few of them had a bit of weakness for one. And here's the Triumph 81. Which is one of the older ones. Really old. I do love my old, well, I like all my locos. My most favourite two are well, out. I like all my, I love all my locos, being that they're my models, and I do own them. Um, they are my favourite. All of them are. <laughs> it's like they're all that can be cheap, or they can be very expensive. Any loco I buy, they are mine once I buy them. And they are basically there. As long as you look after them very well, they will serve you really well for a long, long time. And they will run very well for a long time. But I'm trying, I'm going to say, she's actually just done well, one whole lap without too many issues, which is impressive. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. Very impressive. Right, let's get one of the other locos out, shall we? Steam locos next. Um, or should we leave them to last? Because I did consider leaving them to last, being that they were fairly easiest ones. But let's get out the HST next, I think, and then we can work on the 350, and then we'll work on the Pendolino, and then the steam trains last. I think that'll be the easiest way to do it. Right.